Pisces, today is the day. Pisces sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising. Welcome my beautiful fellow being, Pisces. Let's go ahead and see what spirit has to say for the week ahead for you. So I've been meditating on your cards and just have an overall, uh, overwhelming sense of positivity in your life. Um, of an overwhelming sense of just, you're very complacent right now, which in, in like a good complacent. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what the deck is going to say. Make sure you stay tuned till the end. I'm going to be pulling a Medicine Woman Oracle card and trying to figure out what kind of guidance that has to say for you as well, Pisces. How are you doing, my loves? Thank you guys so much for coming back. Ooh, I see the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, this is what I'm saying. The first card I pulled, Eight of Pentacles, positive movement forward. What else do we have for my beautiful Pisces? Let's go ahead and see. Okay, so we've got Eight of Pentacles. We've got the Star, Major Arcana, beautiful energy. I told you, mental conflict, always up in your head. Always about something, aren't you, Pisces? Wheel of Fortune, another major arcana. We've got the throat chakra. So there's something that has to do with communication. Um, it's, I'm not seeing it as a struggle. There's three of swords, some type of heartache and loss that you're trying to move through. Seven of pentacles, sacral chakra, four of wands. I love it. Family, high priestess, heart chakra. So you're going to be finding something you love. And it's going to bring you to a higher position. Ah, okay, Pisces, let's go ahead and like break down everything that I just pulled for you. Let me go ahead and set my cards to the side. Okay, I love you, Pisces. Like I was saying, positive movement forward. So I am seeing this above the throat chakra and the family life, foundations and achievements. So what I see with this is that you've actually finally been able to articulate what you want, Pisces. You've been finally taking, getting out of your head which I know that we can do. I'm a fellow Pison as well. Um, and finally able to really like put all your energy towards this communication. Okay. So what does this communication have to do? I'm seeing a new adventure happening. I'm seeing a new job coming into your life and I'm, or I'm seeing just new. Okay. Now you tell me in the comments, what kind of new I'm seeing two, three, four on the clock. And then that leads into this beautiful families on your mind. Um, you don't have to be in a family or a relationship, but this is like you collectively looking at yourself with the rainbow and just like fantasizing about the success and what success means to you. And that means something different to everybody, but you're finally able to actually like open up your throat chakra. I feel like your throat chakra has been blocked for a long time, Pisces. So moving forward. So we land on this major arcana, the star hope. Okay. Look at them. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that beautiful and there's this aura can you see it that person that person is you this is the person that you've been trying to that's been blocked okay collectively been blocked this is the person that has gone through and endured uh endured a lot of heartbreak and loss this three of swords energy okay high priestess which means that you've been working on your own mental state of mind your own mental health for quite some time and it's been not the easiest thing to pull out it's not been the easiest thing to pull you out of okay moving on so we've got the two to three to swords that means that you're making progress just what i've been saying um you will always have no matter what you're always going to second guess yourself because that's what pisces do because you are all 12 zodiac signs all beautifully blended into this piscean right and you feel everything. So there's always going to be one of those signs that have, it's like, this is you. And then you've got, you know, um, some uh, Virgo stresses out a lot. Not to throw Virgo under the bus. Virgo is a beautiful uh, polar opposite sign, but always in their head, right? So you pull out other signs because you are all these signs. Okay. But this is going to serve you. That's, that's slowly going away. Like I said, you'll always have it in there, but it's slowly going away. You are... Again, communicating, you are in such a high vibrancy. Um, Seven of Pentacles just shows that you've been kind of stuck in between two different choices. That's probably why this mental conflict is coming up too. This Two of Swords energy. Um, but standing in between these two podiums 
is significant to you, patience and planning. But you're you've been doing that because you've been finding what you love, this heart chakra. You're you are all energetically into this next step in your life. Like you have been so congested with doubt and anxiety and all this stuff for so long that you're ready to let go and move forward. You're ready to go do what your heart is taking you to do. Which leads me to this beautiful destiny card, the wheel of fortune, this abundance of like you're no longer going to be going around. You're going to have what I what I see from this is like here's an opportunity. Here's an opportunity. Here's an opportunity. This is you. Look at your freaking aura, right? And look at that how that matches that. Come on. I mean, that's that's you can't make this stuff up right here. So opportunity, round and round all these opportunities. Make sure that you do find excuse me, the one that your heart is and your intuition is guiding you towards. Don't second guess yourself. Don't let this two of swords energy come back in and try and swoop you off your feet. Okay. We've got the sacral chakra with the uh, emperor energy. So this is just all about planting your feet down in a position that you may be intimidated to do, but you fucking are going to rock it, Pisces. Leave the intimidation at home. Leave the fear at home, at the doorstep, kick it to the curb, bury it. You don't need it. You are going to find such a beautiful position, like I keep saying, that is going to guide you in like the most abundant way. You're ready for the abundance. Yeah. As I said that, partnerships and alliances, three of wands. This Wands are all about actions, okay? So you are now taking action. I love that you've got the three and four of wands. The action's going to lead you to that abundant lifestyle, that abundant family. Um, whether that means you're traveling. They, I, I'm hearing like traveling if you don't have kids or your kids are grown and you're retiring. And like your retirement life is like reflecting back on all of this hard work that you've done and looking and knowing that your kids are settled and they're taken care of, Pisces. Pisces, I freaking love you. Let's go ahead and see what else we have in store. What other messages do we have? You have this beautiful, quick eight of pentacles. You have the seven of eight of pentacles too. You have one, two, three consecutive. Um, You know, you've got the seven to eight of pentacles. You've got the two to three of swords. And you've got the three to four of wands. Fuh! Chariot, fuck yes, Pisces. Chariot, triumphant success. You've got this like... You are determined. You are unstoppable. Look at you're holding your red flag and you are done. You're ditching that red flag because you know more red flags are happening. And you're picking up a bright yellow beam of aura. They said to take these. Passion is ignited. There goes that uh, ace of wands. Again, actions. This is all about that aura. Let me there. I'm here seeing that you have to point this out again. Look at this finding your passion is ignited and you are unstoppable there's no turning back you've been doing the work you've been taking time out from things that no longer serve you you've been like eliminating toxic behaviors whether it be drinking too much eating too much like staying up too late all of these things you've been really fucking doing the work pisces and you know like indulging with balance which is unlike the piscean right? Pisces are all out. Like, give me all of it. I can handle it all. We need to numb ourselves because we need to, because we feel everyone's energy. I get it. I'm there. I'm seeing you. Let's go ahead and see what else we have. They said to take this one. Conflict and defeat. So five of swords. Because we've got the two to the three to the five, I see this as you are done. You're done with the, again, those toxic those toxic behaviors like if you continue and you do allow these toxic behaviors whatever they may be please take what resonates um you will be going down right don't bring yourself down bring yourself up fulfillment of freaking wishes i love this so much for you pisces the nine of cups look at you smelling the flower holding the map and opening the treasure chest there are two choices Continue on with the life that no longer serves you. Five of swords. That's what I was saying. If you don't stop or if you don't continue to really pick up what and, and provide and care for yourself like your body deserves, then that's going to be the, the outcome that you get. But if you really focus, look at this treasure chest. It, again, in between two different choices right here. That's why I'm getting the twos this whole time. This These two podiums that you have to choose from. The two waterfalls that you have to choose from. For me, that is literally a matter of taking the high road or taking the one that's going to, um, you know, be more work. It's going to be more work. That's okay. 
Let's get one final card before I draw your medicine woman oracle. I want to just like keep reading and talking to you. Like, I feel like you're in a really good position. Oh, I love you. Mwah, bravo. The fool, zero. Major arcana, new beginnings. Take a leap of faith. Like I've been saying the whole time. Look at this individual, not gender specific. Standing on the world, finally taking that step through that door, Pisces. And just manifesting this abundant, beautiful fucking lifestyle. Okay, so I've got this beautiful uh, medicine woman and I'm going to go through and we're going to read. They have a message and a guidance and awaken your mess, uh, medicine. So we're going to go through it. Let's get, we'll see, we'll try and get one. Maybe we'll grab two. Let's go ahead. Spirit guides, garden angels. What kind of mess, final oracle message do you have for my beautiful medicine woman? Thank you. Thank you. What kind of message, final message do you have to conclude this beautiful reading from my Pisces? Let's go ahead and see what kind of message, what does the medicine woman want to say? Medicine man, medicine them, all of the genders. They said green. Number 18. So one or eights could be significant to you. Eight plus one is nine. So spirit of air, a favorable wind is blowing on your life. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Number 18. Let's go ahead and look it up. Okay, guys. OMGZ. I love this for you. Spirit of air, number 18. I am the spirit of air. I am breath, fresh or warm against your nose. When I entered your lungs, I was your first cry. See, we've been in that, you've been in that, just like that heartache. You're done, right? You've been, you've let enough tears. I feel the sails of ships to navigate the fabulous oceans of your life. I am movement. Trade wind, breeze, or Sirocco. I don't know what Sirocco is. If you know what Sirocco is, please elaborate. I'm going to look it up. I imbue each patch of your land with the taste of my breath. I am the resource of your phenomenal flight toward the light-filled destiny. I am the dance of ferns in the depths of your forest. And I release the superfluous, superfluous from your life. Unseen yet present everywhere, I am life. That's what I'm saying. You don't, you may not see it yet, but being stuck in between those two doors, the toxic, toxic door and the one that leads you to abundance, I'm telling you, unseen yet present everywhere. So the guidance message is, I'm just reading the guidance message. This card invites you to play with air and taste the joy of lightness. Be like a feather, listening to your divine reson resonance where light glitters. Be like a leaf, letting itself get caught up in the dancing, in dancing upon the wind's invitation. Let go. Let go. What did I say? Perhaps you feel weighed down by a situation, relationship, or place with heaviness of body or heart. It is time to rise above and spread your wings. What did I say? Oh my gosh. The spirit of air in your reading also means that new love or work-related opportunities are presenting themselves. The winds are favorable to you. What the fuck did I say? All these opportunities. So it's just clarifying what we just talked about, which is awesome. Awaken the medicine. Call the spirit of air to support you. What message is in the air is what message is air bringing to you? Find out. Dedicate a moment to the spirit. So at home, you can perform a ritual to increase lightness. Ooh, I love this. We've got at home or in nature. So these are these are things that you can do, Pisces, okay, to try and awaken this beautiful uh, manifestation like we've been saying, okay? At home, perform a ritual for increased lightness. Open your windows to air out your living space. Gather a few feathers. Breathe in deeply and feel lightness inside. Invoke the spirit of air, entrusting it with a situation that weighs heavily your question. Then throw the feathers in the air above your head. Feel your consciousness rise above and take a step back. Embrace new solutions and give thanks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. In nature, this is something you can do in nature. Offer yourself to the wind, caressing your skin. See, I'm like already touching my skin. Listen to its melody in the trees. Pay attention, leaves dancing in the air, lightness or falling to the ground, letting go. Awaken the bird woman and say a prayer for her. <sighs> thank you, thank you. I am truly grateful. 
Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. I it, Let me know what, if you're doing this at home, if you're doing it in nature, I will try and do both as well based on, you know, this reading is not for me, but I do love kind of inviting, uh, bet, you know, the higher self, that spirit of lightness into my life. Pisces, until next time, love and light to you. See ya.